So in this video, we're going to turn our mid journey images into really, really beautiful 3d depth animations. This can really bring your artwork to life and you could do some really, really groovy things with it. So how do we access Layapix converter? Well, we go to convert.layapix.com. If you're curious, Leia does use artificial intelligence and the way it transforms 2d images into immersive 3d experiences called depth animations is by Leia's proprietary AI models. But you're not here to hear about that mumbo jumbo. You're here so that you can can turn your images into an immersive experience. So let me show you exactly how to do that. The first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to convert.layapix.com. You'll have to sign up for an account. And one important thing I want to point out is if you're not seeing the same thing I am on my screen, zoom out or zoom in during different parts of the video. I noticed that it's very UX responsive depending on whether you're zoomed in or zoomed out. So once you're logged into Layapix, all you're going to do is click this plus icon to upload an image and then we can start creating. So check this out. I did not speed up this video just in a matter of about eight to 10 seconds. It's going to create an amazing immersive three dimensional experience. And there's a lot that we can do here. So the first thing I want to point out is this icon here. This is going to be the length of time that this takes place. So if we choose six seconds, it just slows it down. And if we choose a second, it's going to go rather quickly. Now, depending on what kind of effect you want to achieve, this is going to be a helpful feature, the length feature. Maybe there's a turbulent wave or you're showing people screaming in an airplane. This might be appropriate to have it one second versus six seconds, which really smooths it out. For this image here, I want it to go about three seconds. I want to make it seem like she's really floating on liquid over here. If you take a look at this icon, this is simply dictating how the image navigates. So is it going simply on the X axis? So just back and forth. Is it going in a bit of an elliptical horizontal circular motion? Is it going in a full circle? Do we just want it to go up and down? and so on and so forth. Now there's a lot more features here. For instance, this is the amount of motion. Do you want it to have more motion? For the purpose of this one, I think I actually like it at regular. Even though as you can see with more, you're able to see a little bit more of the picture and less, it's kind of toned down a little bit. We're gonna keep it regular. This icon here, this is the focus point. So are you focusing on the center? Are you focusing on what is really, really close up? This gives it a little bit of a view, like we're standing there and looking at her through our eyes. If you click center, it's making it seem like we're watching something in motion. And if you select far, then it's giving the background a little bit of play as well. I like it best when it's in the center. As a matter of fact, now that I say that, I like far a little bit better because this is giving more of an appearance that she's really moving on the water. I also want you to pay attention to her hair here. It's not just moving this water right here. It's also moving her hair a bit as well. The next one is edge dilation. And in this image, it's doing a pretty good job. But in some images, you're going to see blurry things on the left or the right. And if you decrease that, it's going to sharpen the image. Now over here, this is showing the X axis, Y axis and Z axis. Here we can play with how far along the X axis I actually want it to move. The same thing about the Y axis. Now I don't want it to be like this because then she's moving up and down quite a bit. And that is not the effect that I'm trying to achieve. And if I zoom out, you can actually see that effect. Now we're going to zoom in and I'm going to lessen the load of the Y amplitude and Z this is interesting. This is how far she's basically moving in and out. So X axis is going this way, Y axis going up and down, and Z axis is the depth. The next thing I want to point out is over here on the left, you actually have an advanced editor as well. And there you can do a little bit more. And if you toggle, let's say phase Y, if we select this, you'll see that it's moving a little more differently. And so just play around with these until you get the effect that you want. Now there's also a depth map. This is basically how the platform is deciphering between what's close up and what should be in focus and what's in the back. 
This is a little more advanced. I might make a tutorial on this later, but I just wanted to show you guys the basics of what this does. And this right here in my eyes is doing a perfect job. Now we can see that there's some problems with it. For instance, when she moves up, you could see this halo to the right of her hair where it's moving. This halo appears and disappears. This program is not perfect, but it's doing a heck of a good job. If you want to see just how good of a job it's doing compared to other AIs, I went ahead and I put this into Gen 2 Runway ML, and this is what it produced for me. Now, this is actually not as terrible as it may look. If you pay attention to what's happening, the way her skirt is falling, the way she's moving, and the skirt is kind of moving with the movement, the arms are moving interestingly as well. Now, obviously, if you look at her face, it's like a nightmare, scary movie. It's like that saying goes, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, right? But these programs are just gonna get better. Again, this is artificial intelligence. This is machine learning. It is learning learning from the feedback of us people, but it's also going ahead and learning from itself. And so eventually this is going to get better and better. Remember where mid journey was six, eight months ago. And so trust me, don't look at these platforms and say, oh my God, how is it now? Think about how it's going to be two, three years from now. I think runway ML, I think that Leopix also has a lot of potential. The reality is it's all about who the developers are behind the project and how hard they're working on making it better. Now, take a look at this right here. Just take a look at it for a couple of seconds. And now look at the flat image. Do you see the difference? This is pretty amazing stuff. Now, I know not a lot of things are happening here at first, but I guarantee you later on in Leopix, you're going to be able to say create ripples in the water, or you can even maybe write text and say bats in the background, and there will be bats flying in the background. So remember, this is in its infancy stages. This is so exciting that we get to play with these tools and for free. Leopix, it's completely free right now. Mid journey, you currently have to pay for. I pay about $30 a month. Now, let's Let's see what happens if I upload a picture of an actual person. So this is my girlfriend right here. And the last time I played around with her on mid journey, she was like, eh, I don't know how I feel about this. So let's see how she reacts to this when I bring her to life a little bit in three dimensions. But as you can see, this is doing a pretty good job. Now, again, we can toggle a lot of these features, but even without toggling it, take a look. It's kind of like a Mona Lisa effect. Like no matter where she moves, she looks like she's staring right at you. And if we increase the way this moves, I'm telling you, I don't want to do it with like a family member or a friend just out of respect to their family of someone that's not alive anymore. But if you bring them to life a little bit, it is really, really and somewhat like this beautifully tragic, slightly eerie, slightly nostalgic viewpoint and feel that you get. But in any case, try this out with a picture of yourself. Try it out with a picture of a friend, a picture of your dog, your cat. At. Try it out with AI art that you create on your favorite platform. And let me know in the comment section which tutorial you wish for me to cover next. Let me know which platform. Let me know which artificial intelligence feature. And also, I'm diving deep into AI. I host a lot of educational workshops. So if you're just curious, like what is neural network or what is machine learning, I would love to have talks on that. So just mention it in the comment section and I'll try to make it happen. I appreciate you guys for watching this video video in its entirety, and I'll see you all in the next one.